I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, well we got justice and it's with the Page of Wands. Now justice is a card that brings clarity, it brings truth. It can be about justice being served. It can be about someone who wants to make things right. Or it could be about someone feeling that they have the right to do so. It, it's a type of karma. This justice card, it can be. It can be about karma. Things that you put out coming back to you. But being that it's, it's clarified by the Page of Wands, the card that's below the word pass, this is telling me that you, you're dealing with someone who um, had a lot of passion for you. They have a lot of passion. You, you're still with this person. Maybe not together, but they're still in your, your energy. For some of you, you're, you're living with this person. Or you could be in no communication. But this person used to reach out to you a lot. The Page of Wands can be a message bearer. They could have always been reaching out to you with a lot of passion, with messages of love. Now, this Page of Wands, it is an immature energy. It, well, it can be, put it that way. Um, whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, that could indicate a student. It could indicate youth, someone younger than you, or just someone who could be on the immature side. Um, and this, this is what a lot of you are dealing with. Um, they could have had the type of energy where... Whereas they had a hard time staying focused. Yeah. They were easily distracted. But they had passion for you. And because it's with justice, this person, they wanted to do right by you. But they had some type of immature energy that they couldn't shake. Because it was just them. It was a part of their nature. And for some of you, this person was just a lot younger than you. If it, it could have been by a few days, a few weeks, a few years, a few months, and for some of you, a few decades. Yeah, some of you do get down like that. But, yeah, they wanted to do the right thing. They wanted to do right by you. But they just had this energy of immaturity. That they couldn't shake. Had a lot of passion for you. Was always excited to be with you. But that's the reason past energy between you and your person. Also, this person, for some of you, you could have been dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So, we got the Four of Wands. And it's with... The Ten of Wands. Yeah. Yeah, Four of Wands is actually the Marriage and Commitment card. This, this person, um, it looks like they, they want a relationship with you, with the Four of Wands here. If you're already in a relationship with this person, they could be wanting it to go to the next level. They want something serious with you. Four of Wands is serious. It's not a it's not a game playing card. It can be about marriage, commitment, long term. Yeah, you, you worked your charm on this person, Capricorn. They're really feeling you, but you feel like it would be too difficult. 
because the Ten of Wands, the card that's below the word present, it's about a heavy burden. You feel like this person would probably suck the life out of you. You would have to give too much of your emotional energy to this person. You think it would be too difficult for you to have something serious with this person. Yeah, so that's what's coming up. They do want a relationship with you. Or they want something really serious with you because, like I said, the Four of Wands is the marriage commitment card. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. So we got the Two of Swords, and this is the King of Swords. Yeah, Capricorn, King of Swords, Two of Swords. Mm. Yeah, you're ready to cut this person out. You're ready to block them. You're ready to avoid them. You think they're too immature. Or you just feel like they're just... Yeah, they got some type of energy you don't really like. With a page of wands here. They want to do the right thing, but like I said, their energy is very... For some of you, it's just on the childish side. That's what I'm getting. Or they just got some type of energy that you feel would be just too difficult to continue to deal with. Yeah. And the King of Swords is clarified by this Two of Swords. Yeah. King of Swords. It's a very mean, mean energy. They think that you're being mean, Capricorn. They think you're being cold detached and for some of you they feel you're being too forceful yeah you might be really pushy with this person or pushy towards them but it's showing that you're cutting them out yeah you got somebody that really wants to be with you but I'm just kidding you they're not on your level and it could be a maturity type of thing So, we move on over and take a look and see what the outcome is. So, we got the Six of Wands, and it's with the Devil. Yeah, Six of Wands is, it's actually a good card in the deck. It can be about recognition, victory, success. Um, and this is how your person is feeling about you. This is what they want. They want you to recognize them. They don't appreciate that you cut them out or you're avoiding them. They want the recognition and attention and attention that you used to give them. They feel like the two of you have a lot of chemistry. Because the Six of Wands, it suggests that, for example, you could be the type that needs someone to boost your ego while the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. With this Six of Wands, you get a lot of sexual energy, and there is passion. And long nights spent in bed. So, this person is obsessed with the fact that the two of you had this type of magic. Devil card is here. That's obsession. They're obsessed with this type of energy that the two of you experience together. Yeah, so they they feel you're just they feel you need to stop being so mean. Put down those swords. This person, they you got somebody that really wants to be with you, Capricorn. Yeah, but their energy is just not on your level. That's what I keep getting for a lot of you. Not all of you. It could be some other reason, but the Page of Wands is here telling me this. And the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is a card that's below the word present. This man, he's walking forward, but he's about to fall backwards. You feel like this person could... Suck the life out of you eventually. Yeah, so. 
they're obsessed with you. Don't be surprised if they if they have a hard time with you avoiding and blocking them. So that's the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we're all going to get through this. So, stay strong. Take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend. Could be a family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.